Dave, this is a beautiful little airplane. Now, what's this called? It's called a Super Cat. Now, that was uh, Bobby uh, Baker had something to do with that at one time, didn't he? Bobby designed the airplane and kitted it for a couple of years. Uh, he had a few problems with partner, I guess, and uh, ceased operations. Now, this is uh, uh, an all-wood uh, construction aircraft? The fuselage is all wood. The wing is wood with uh, blue foam ribs and a uh, core in the spar. Now, this was available originally as plans. Uh, how did uh, you obtain the aircraft? I bought the plans, uh, ser plan serial number 527. The airplane was built from those plans. Now, uh, the average person that's out there that's looking at doing something like this, what kind of a, uh, an environment would they have, uh, have to have in order to build it in? You could build the airplane in a garage or in a basement. I built the airplane in a basement. I uh, had the complete airplane assembled in my basement, in fact. I moved it to the garage to do the covering and painting because my wife wasn't real happy with the smell. The, uh, in, a, in the garage environment, for example, is there any kind of a special tools or jigs or anything that should be required to build? You need a table that's going to be about 16 feet long and about 3 feet wide is, is the only special special type bench you're going to need. Conventional power tools, drills, drill presses, saws, uh, that's about all you're really going to need. Now working from the plans, uh, you uh, obtained the plans from Bobby or from Wix or where did you get the plans Bobby from? Baker. Okay. Now how do the plans come? Uh, I just got the plans rolled up in a tube with a construction manual and uh, basically a uh, good luck. <laughs> Are they easy to follow along? Like, for example, is it a full-scale uh, type of, uh, of drawings? Well, the, the drawings for the bulkheads are full-scale. You just cut those out, glue them on your plywood, and, and cut them out. The rest of the plans, any, anything that's critical, like the wing rib templates, are full-size. The bulkheads for fuselage are full-size. The rest of it is sub-scale, but it gives you dimension so you can make the parts. Now, what kind of time would the average person be looking at to build something like this? Like, when did you start? Well... <laughs> In, in the middle of this, we had a child, and I flew model airplanes competitively, so it took me about five years to build the airplane, but I didn't get to work on it as, as near as much as I'd like to. How many hours do you figure you'd have from basically day one uh, to up and flying? I, I figure the average guy that, that's going to stumble a little bit would have about 500 hours to build an airplane. Wix sells uh, most of the plywood, the spruce that's available. Uh, I found a, a paneling store in Columbus, Ohio, where I, close to where I lived, that had the marine grade plywood for the bulkheads. Uh, Fisher, Mike Fisher had the spruce, so I could get that locally. I didn't have to order too much of it. Uh, Lowe's Home Centers, the Home Depot, they have the blue foam that's used in the airplane. The, the parts that you would have to, to outsource, if you can't weld, you'd have to buy the landing gear, the motor mount, things like that. And if you can't do fiberglass work, you'd have to buy the cowling, the gas tank, the top, and the tailwheel spring. Now, this was uh, originally, or Bobby originally uh, designed uh, the, the Bobcat. Now, this is a Supercat. What's the difference between the two? The Bobcat is an ultralight. The Supercat is for the guys that want to go a little faster. The, the wing is a little beefier, and it's got the addition of the struts. Now, what about the engine option on this thing? The airplane was originally designed around the KFM, two-cylinder, two-stroke. Uh, didn't prove to be very, very reliable or, or suitable for the airplane, so Bobby switched to the 277. Since then, we've gone uh, as high as I've heard of guys with 532s on the airplane. I have the 503. Now, with a, a 503, what kind of performance would I get through takeoff, cruise, stall, flight, that type of thing? Well, my airplane, which is modified from, from uh, Bobby Baker's original intent, <laughs> Um, my takeoff roll is, is depending on my weight, the, the airplane's takeoff weight, between 250 and 300 feet is takeoff roll. Landing roll is generally about 400 feet. My normal cruise is 85 miles an hour, approaches 50 to 55, and stall occurs at about 38. Now, what kind of a, a range would you have? Like, what kind of fuel capacity do you have and what are you using? I, I carry 11 or just over 11 gallons of, of fuel. I can fly for two and a half hours comfortably with, with a half hour reserve. Now, what about, this is completely enclosed, and down here in Florida, it must get pretty hot in there. 
really it's not too bad if I release the top and, and it'll float up about two and a half inches and the vents that are on the side windows uh, lets the air in and, and passes past me and out the top so uh, well good morning ladies and it's gentlemen. really not a problem uh, lovely day and you can see we have a uh, big array out here of power are you power giving a name and phone power number power or what address? no uh, uh, we've had a you, can, you can contact me at Steve Carruthers and Super we Cat, it's S uh, Super Cat. That's to go this is a website here, but, but my email address is green. Uh, then, uh, it's S C U P E R C A T nine four at gateway dot net is my email address. To, uh, my home phone is three zero one four seven two four eight nine eight, and there is a there is a. The web address, it's now, communities dot msn dot com bobcat slash supercat. Thank you very much for your time. You're welcome. When that's finished at half past five, we will return.